You will never read in the Bible that the morning and the evening. You will read evening and the morning. Productivity starts at night. Implementation is in the daytime. When men slept, transactions were going on. A little sleep, a little slumber. Poverty will attack you. So when I ask you, when is your productive time? I tell me from 7.30 to 5 p.m. I know you're a poor man. How you can, you know, move your business and get to the next level. And trust me, this is the time you need to leave that your comfort zone and move to the next level. It takes 21 days to create a habit. In this past COVID period, we've been at home for five months. What habits have you created? You have created habits of failure, habits of defeat, habits of depression. It is time for you to sharpen that sword and take your business to the next level. Close a day without succeeding that day. You must succeed at your KPI that day, whether you like it or yes. I'm a ruthless winner for whatever God has put into my hand. Ruthless. I get knocks and injuries left, right and center, but I refuse to give up. Hard work will never kill me. It will stress you, but will never kill you. If you want to win tomorrow. Whenever you want to take decisions in your life, there are people that pull you down. You need to leave them alone because your friends determine your values. Your values determine your decisions. Your decisions determine your actions and your actions determine your results. If your results are wrong, check your actions. If your actions are not the best, check your decisions. If your decisions are not working, check your values. If your values are not the best, check your friends. If you want to change your future, change your friends. The quality of this season shows that you cannot survive with one source of income. And that has always been said in the Bible from Genesis. Genesis chapter 2 verse 10 says that there were four rivers that were watering the Garden of Eden. Gishon, Fishon, Heidekel, Euphrates, and there were different things in there to water the garden. First of all, if you are a Christian, if you are somebody that is of faith, you must have a minimum of four sources of income. Anything less than that is an abuse of the mandate. That is my message to you. Go and start thinking and stop praying too much. God expects you to work and be produced. Adam, get to work.